Hey guys, what's up? This is Transom, and we are back yet again to Bioshock 2. Uh, we just dropped the little sister off, and now we're going up to get the incinerate plasma. So freaking creepy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. His head exploded in his hands. Nice. <laughs> I think that television levitated while my attack was going through. I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what? And he flashes me these thousand dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will quote change history. <laughs> hmm. You're not fit to grovel and land a beast. It doesn't even make sense, actually. Like, drinking, I can see there being like, a porthole or something, but... Whoa. Oh, uh... 
a crappy way to die. I heard the altar say, saying true and righteous for your judgments. <laughs> That guy's dead. That really sucks. I didn't really expect to die just then. I also don't have my security drone anymore. Luckily, it looks like these guys stay dead. I shouldn't try and hack the save again. Apparently not good at hacking the saves. Safes. <laughs> oh. I guess maybe I should use this a little bit. Apparently I have full ammo. <laughs> he blew up. That's funny right there. Ooh, and uh, that's... The end of Ryan is the end of self. Reject the tyrant of the self. Rapture failed. We will not. Hmm. Interesting. Unable to provide for itself, the need of the parasite grows until war is made to justify it. Your parents brought you to Rapture where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you on the surface. But you may bring the world to you. If you know someone who belongs in Rapture, write a letter to the Ryan Industries mailroom. And you never know. The next new face might be familiar. Hmm. Oh! So in the original game, that was supposed to be like... Rapture's Anthem or something. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy in Rapture. But seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare... Did children truly respond to this? Still... I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned here. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. Wow. I'm 
Rotting, you scoundrel! <laughs> <laughs> What a noisy bitch. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Let's go and get that plasmid. Then I can set stuff on fire. Busted pile of junk! You broke it! Everything you touch turns to shit! I inherited all of this! I quit on my side! There we go. So these are some of the different upgrades from the first one. I remember most of them. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. She's still a bitch. I was right, that was the big sister. Posing ever ominously. In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them Big Daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. Hmm. So apparently that guy's gonna be the guy who's responsible for the state Delta is in. Nice. They give you just enough to let you upgrade everything. Oops. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? I wonder if the health one did. <laughs> I wonder if the health one went into place or not. Oh, a party, but this party just hit the skin. Carl needs a light for his cigar. No one can help him. <laughs> 
Doofus. You're already on fire, you should have just stayed burning. Okay, so this is one of those catch-22s, if I hadn't spent everything over there just now, I could have gotten that. Well, that may be another thing as well, like it's trying to tempt you into destroying the big sisters later on. I definitely will not do. There's a bit of a clever way to give you incentive. If anything, it just means that later on I'm going to find a way to come back here. But where is she? Son, not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice, and we can say goodbye to this two bit carny ride. Definitely on your side for that, but first I'm gonna go unlock more Eve. Oh, wait. I think I passed it. Uh I'm just going for the Eve upgrade. I think it kinda makes the most sense too. Oh, 
I was kind of hoping to burn the model of Rapture down. Kind of symbolic. Ryan saw the individual as a hero, a noble survivor. And Rapture was his paradise, a shrine to the supremacy of the self. The result? Slavery, genocide, chaos. Now that the tyrant is dead, we are a true collective, a single family. Here's the psychotic bitch, so, you know, there's that factor of it, too. Don't go getting drunk on me. Standard sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. This feels very trappish to me. Yep. I knew it. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. What? I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Hey, this is one of those keys. I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Man, what an ass. some kind of holy spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow and i reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel so old andy went and became his own ghost and i whittled nickels till i made a mint i really can't tell if i should trust this guy or not I don't think there's anything else that I can really do. Although I guess this kind of answers the question. It seems like there's a limited number of places you can go. Where the hell did he go? Is he back inside the damn thing? Like, relaxing in a car? Jackass. Although this does provide me something of a a ruler to measure out the parts of the games. Because I noticed when I came into this area, there was a map 
that had lines connected to little lights that like showed the stops of the train. So I imagine if I looked at one of those, I could kind of figure out how long. Well, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, may the shadows guide you to the next one. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna die here first. Oh, that's a little. Attention, subject Delta is now trapped in Pauper's Drop. All rail car travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. <laughs> Bitch. Uh, alright, so I said. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. Is everyone done talking now? Okay. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.